Hello there and thank you so much for joining us here on Able Differently. We hope you're enjoying yourselves as much as we are. When you have a dream and achieving it becomes a hassle, then dream another one. It's important to have a goal in life and work towards it. In today's show, we focus on a few individuals and institutions that have had a goal of bettering the society. My name is Stella Tioy. And I'm Jane Theory. Karibu. Because we're differently abled, differently. The Kenya Institute of the Blind had a dream of bettering the lives of the visually impaired. And today, hundreds of people live their life fully despite not having the sense of sight. Take a look. Kenya Institute for the Blind, popularly known as KIB, was started in the year 1969 in order to give aid to those visually impaired. Kenya Institute for the Blind started 50 years ago. And uh, it started as a, an ungovernment organization. Uh, uh, the goodness is that the government had given, provided land uh, for the ungovernment organization, whereby they were offering correspondence courses for persons who were blind. Uh, by then, you know, there were limited schools for the blind, so they would do their courses by correspondences. So this institution was. Uh, uh, actually put in place so that it can cater for those uh, persons who are blind who could do correspondence courses and uh, at the end they do exams like Kenya Junior Secondary of Education examinations and uh, the Form 4 examination and some even uh, would go up to Form 6 uh, examinations. So they were just offering correspondence courses and the materials for them to read in Braille. Their main aim is to enable those visually impaired to be self-independent and live like any other person. We realize that uh, we have some learners and trainees that become blind while still in institutions of learning. And when they become blind, we bring them here so that we can do what we call educational rehabilitation. So that they can go back to their learning institutions. So that when uh, a child or a learner is in uh, class six or seven or eight and becomes blind, he will come here, we rehabilitate the child and take him back to the school so that he can continue with the schooling. Just like any other institution, Kenya Institute for the Blind goes through various challenges. However, through goodwill and help from government and well wishes, they have been managing. As a rehabilitation center, which we are rehabilitating learners and uh, trainees who are visually impaired, we don't have uh, a hostel where they can learn uh, in the class and they go in the evening. So what we have done is we have only but uh, partnered with uh, a hostel, private hostel, where they go and it is expensive for them. So that's why we are looking for money so that we can put up a hostel, these learners can easily go without actually paying. The books that uh, or the instructional materials or any material in Braille is very expensive because uh, first of all the paper that we use for Brailing is very expensive. Uh, the machines we use for transcription into Braille are very expensive. When I am in typing in small letters, in lowercase small, yeah? Lazarus Omusule is one of the teachers who teach adapted ICT. Having lost his sight and been here for rehabilitation, then giving back his services is something he cherishes to do each day. Uh, my duty here is to train uh, persons who are sighted as well as those who are visually impaired to understand what is adapted ICT or how does a person who is not sighted, how can they interact with a, a gadget called a computer as well as a phone. However, he insists on the society's ignorance amongst those visually impaired. The major challenge is that uh, people around the society, especially uh, people who are dealing with uh, ICT, computers, most of them don't realize that uh, 
amongst the public are persons who are visually impaired. So you find like when they write website, when they roll out programs, when they roll out software, most of them do not uh, eliminate some certain uh, features. So you find when you go to a website, uh, for instance, I've talked about the KRA website a few times, which is serving the public. Uh, you'll find the KRA website uh, is not um, like is not accessible fully. Uh, so you find the KRA is telling us to file our returns, but on the one hand, I am not independently able to log on to the website. Grace Murugi is amongst those who have benefited from the institution. She came here knowing less on Braille. She acquired the skills and technology which help her in the university. I've been taught how to use a white cane and some of the clues and the landmarks one should use in order not to get lost, to move about alone. And also I've also learned ICT how to use a computer via the software which is which usually is installed in that computer in order to use it at ease. So I can I can type my own documents, my notes, I can use Excel. I've learned a lot and to do research of course. Among the board of management, they have a strategic plan whose aim is to better the institution and for the learners to get an easy time in getting information. Some of the, uh, the, the, the things we come up with is to find out what is the future of this institution um, and how can this institution at any one time sustain itself. Yes, those are some of the issues that, that the board does. Uh, we, we are concerned with the staff, the hiring, disciplinary, um, the budgets to the government, okay, also coming up with the constitution with together with the, the CEO for sure, and uh, making sure that that institution, that uh, um, strategic plan is actually implemented as what we had proposed. As a parting shot, Mr. Lazarus called to those able differently to never give up. So I don't advise people who are like living with disability Try and come out, package yourself, and there are opportunities like for employment, but, but you obviously can't be employed if you are not um, empowered. So such people, uh, even the families, the caregivers, don't hide us, don't actually lock us behind the doors, uh, feeling embarrassed about us, bring your people out, let them be trained, because like at KIB we do we offer the rehabilitation services in um, the visual impairment. So bring these people out, they will be helped. Because we're differently abled, differently. Let's take a short break, we'll be right back. Because we're differently abled, differently. Cause we're differently abled, differently. Welcome back. To be a caregiver to a child with special condition is no mean feat. Tabitha Njeri took up on this role for her nephew and despite the daily challenges, she has never given up. Take a look at that story. Tabitha Njeri took up the role of taking care of John, who was diagnosed with autism after his biological mother suffered mental illness. Mimi ni auntie yake John. Na tumekuwa tumetukishi na yeye kwa kwa muda mrefu kuanzia mama yake alipogonjeka. Mama yake amekuwa na shida ya akili na angeweza kumlea. Sasa ndio kwa maana nikachukua hilo jukumu la kuweza kumlea. Her love for children and the fact that blood is always thicker than water push her to take responsibility of her nephew, John. John. <laughs> Na uwezo kidogo niko nayo ndio naweza kumlisha huyu kumlisha mama yake jo mama yake ana kazi sasa hivi hakuna kitu anafanya 
John's autistic nature did not hinder Tabitha from enrolling him to a school. Akukua kama watoto wengine normal. Ju alichelewa pia kutembea. Alafu sasa pia kuongea ilimchukua muda. Sasa tulikuwa tunadhani ju akiwa mdogo kuna vile aliadhirika akachomeka. Na hapa kuanzia mdomo mpaka hapa. Na alikuwa na kwa mgonjwa mara nyingi. Sasa tukadhani hiyo gonjwa ina ina mo affect ndio aongee atembee haraka aongee lakini alikuja akatembea alafu nimai sasa kuongea ndio ikakuwa shida ndio tukaamua sasa tumpeleke shule special after tumeshaambiwa na daktari ako na autism ndio tukaanza kutafuta shule ili anaweza somea because of the education that he has been receiving john is now able to engage in various activities kabla ingia shuleni uliko na muita hako akitika hako ana respond but sasa ukimuita John ana anakuangalia na ana respond na anakuja kwako ukimfa kwa ukimwambia afanye hivi anakuambia yeye usikia kuongea tu ndio ongi na ni mtoto mchangamfu aki anafanya activities moba melan kwa shule anatengeneza necklace anafanya mambo nyingi sana hata ukimpatia kifagia anajua kufagia anajua kupanguza meza hata shamba anajua vile analala na kiona nyanyaki akifanya pia anafanya nenda kwa shamba anachukua anajua ku improvise vitu sasa akiona nyanyake ni ni panga na yeye anachukua pipe pipe ndio panga yake anaanza kufanya mambo yani ako na akili with the responsibility of taking care of John and herself resting squarely on her shoulders Tabitha has to find means for survival wenda saa zingine nenda kazini kwa kikomba tunajaribu kuza vitu hivi ndio pate kitu kidogo cha cha kuweza kumlea. Jisa zingine lazima mpande gari mkikuja. Sipokuwa hivyo inabidi mtembe mguu kwa 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 ka distance hivyo ndio mfike shule. Na pia chakula yake kuna chakula nafaa kula. Nafaa kuna vitu afai kukula. Lakini zile anafaa kukula zinakuwa ni za bei ya hali ya juu. Virginia Wanjiru John's grandmother showers him with praise and leaves parents out there with a word of advice. John ni ni mtoto mzuri lakini haogei. Haogei ako na shida ya kuogea. Daktari alituambia ako na autism. Nikewa nikewaeleza wasasi kama hawa waonyeshe upendo kwa watoto kama hawa. Eh kwa sababu ni watoto wa Mungu na Mungu anawajua na mungu atawasaidia Stella Wambua dared to dream. She defied all the challenges along her path and now she's a volunteer teacher. Take a look at her story. Stella Mwende Wambua is a firstborn of four siblings. When she was six months old, her mother came to realize that her daughter was not in a position to see. Nilipofikia katika umri wa kujielewa, nilijipata ya kwamba niko katika hali hiyo. Baada ya kuuliza wazazi, wakanieleza ya kwamba ulemavu huo ulikuja nikiwa na umri wa miezi sita. In curiosity to know what had befallen their daughter, Stella was taken to Machakos, later referred to Kikuyu Hospital, but nothing was done. Hilo walimpima, wakaniambia ni kama wao hawezi kupeleke Kikuyu. Vile nilienda Kikuyu, akapimwa. Akaniambia hiyo macho hakuna kitu inaweza fanyiwa. Kwa hivyo nimpeleke shule. Cooling for Stella kicked off well. She went to Thika Primary School of Visually Impaired Persons from class 1 to 8 then later on went to Meru High Special School where she concluded her secondary education Nilienda Kitui Nikaona hiyo shule si poa Kutoka Kitui nikaenda Thika Nilikuwa Kutoka Thika ndio nilikuja nikamchukua nikamfanyia shopping nikampeleka Thika kutoka class 1 mpaka class 8 nimesomea Thika Primary School for the Blind lakini high school nikaja kusomea St Lucy's Meru mpaka form 4 ndipo sasa nikachukuliwa nikaenda Machakos Teachers College nikatrain kama P1 teacher 
career choice was driven by her interest in teaching pupils, which she learned at Machakos Teachers Training College and graduated in 2019. Currently, Stella has volunteered as a teacher at Star of Hope Primary, handling integrated students. Kwa sasa, mimi nimejitolea kufunza watoto pale Star of Hope Primary School kwa vile nili graduate mwezi wa pili tarehe nane mwaka huu na nikaamua kwenda kusaidia wanafunzi katika shule hiyo. On a day-to-day -day life, Stella goes through lots of hurdles in school and also when commuting from one place to another. Huko hakuna facilities za kutumia material, hakuna. And then, challenge ingine ni kwamba vitabu vile ambavyo sisi tunastahili kutumia via braille, hakuna. Hapa around kutoka shule mpaka nyumbani ama kutoka nyumbani mpaka shule katikati ya njia hizo kuna mitaro ambayo inafanya ulimwengu uwe unfriendly to disabled people again wakati mwingine unaweza pata kuna uh, unaweza pata kuna gari ambazo zimepakiwa around na maybe hakuna mtu ambaye anaelewa ya kwamba hapo kuna mtu ambaye ako na disability kama hiyo yangu the support system is evident as Stella hopes to do great things for students by giving them guidance and counseling apart from teaching i'm able to guide and counsel people out there and also to help the others to know that it is important for them to live and also to work hard in their academic life and also in the co-curricular activities so that they may be in a position of helping themselves in life. Attending birthday parties with her colleagues and helping students are some of the happy moments. Wakati ambao niko happy ni wakati ambao Niko na, ma, na, niko na colleagues wangu wakati tunacheka na kusaidiana katika kazi ya shuleni na hata nyumbani wakati ambapo tunazungumza kuhusu maneno ya kifamilia ama wakati kuna happy moments kama birthdays birthday parties christmas and all those good moments on the other hand being taken advantage of because of her disability are some of her sad moments. Mtu amechukua advantage ya disability yangu ku kufanya tu chochote yani akaniudhi kama kwa mfano mtu uh, akapata sioni akaamua kuchukua chochote tu ninacho miliki ndiposa aweze kujisaidia kama mimi mwenyewe sina hiyo know how trying as much as possible since disability is not inability is Stella's parting shot to those able differently wajaribu njia zozote zile wajitafutie riziki after all disability is not inability na wale ambao wako shuleni wajaribu kujikaza kimasomo wajizatiti kabisa kulingana na uwezo wao naye Mungu hata waangusha Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Article 6 of the UN Convention states that State parties recognize that women and girls with disabilities are subject to multiple discrimination and in this regard shall take measures to ensure the full and equal enjoyment by them of all human rights and fundamental freedoms. In the quote of the day, we look at the saying that goes, at first our dreams may seem improbable, then you summon the will, and finally they become inevitable. What's your take on that, Stella? That's very true, Jen. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing comes easily. You mm -hmm. have to push for it. Mm -hmm. You have to be consistent with it. And finally, it mm -hmm. will bear fruits. I couldn't agree more on that. Well, folks, that's where we wrap up the show today. See you again next week. 
same time, same place. I am Jen Teuri. And I, Stella Tioi. Kwaheri. Kwaheri.